Hi, this is Jim Gibson with Cable Supply, and today I'm going to teach you why you need to destroy your hard drives, and I'm going to show you how to destroy your hard drives. So, <clears throat> there's a lot of valuable information on these things that you need to pay attention to, and um, you know, a lot of people don't think, well, you know, I just put my computer out there and, I, and no one, uh, you know, they're just going to use it for honest reasons. It's really amazing um, when I talk to people. I am a what's called a CISSP, Certified Information Systems uh, Security Professional, um, and that's a long story. That takes that's a hard certification to get. But when I talk to my uh, my customers and I say, "Hey, you know, um, you know, you need to degloss, uh, degoss, excuse me, you need to degoss your uh, hard drives, you need to destroy them, things like that." They often come back and, and say, why? No one would be interested in hacking me. Well, they really are interested in hacking you. And, and a lot of them, a lot of times when I talk to customers and I tell them, you know, they need to be cyber security and, and secure and need to take certain actions and things like that, they don't. And then they'll come back to me a month or six months later and say, oh, I got ransomware. Oh, can you help me in this area? Oh, I don't know how this information got out. Um, but there's a lot of information on these things and you need to make uh, these hard drives unreadable uh, forever uh, or um, uh, or you need to write over them and we'll talk about how to write over data if you want to save the hard drive but first let's look at destroying and the way I do it is I just draw a hole right through I don't know if you can see it there right through um, the hard drive and there's a bunch of disks in there as you can see I don't know if you can see that but there's multiple plates in there. Um, you may not be able to see it. So I drilled through all of them and comes right out the back. And that's the best way to make the hard drive inoperable. Come on, these things aren't that expensive, you know? You want to risk that information being out in the world when you decommission your products? I don't think so. I don't want my information out there. I don't care. I, sometimes you don't even know what's on your hard drive, you know? So you got to destroy these things. Uh, these hard drives before you throw them in the trash. I always take the hard drive out of the computer, destroy the hard drive, donate the computer. If you want to really be a good guy, get a new hard drive, put, it, put the operating system on the new hard drive, donate the computer. Do whatever you want, but I know I destroy my own hard drives and also my customers. And I don't allow these things to be floating around, even if they're functional. They're too inexpensive. Get an SSID uh, hard drive. I'm oh, sorry, not an SSID. Get a solid state hard drive. SSID is totally something different. So I'm going to take this. This is actually a bad hard drive. I don't know why we still have it. should have been destroyed long ago. But I'm going to destroy this. I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay? I'm going to take the clamp. And of course, for safety reasons, you should have goggles. I don't know where my goggles are at. So sorry. I'm going to put the drill one third of the way up from the end. Okay. Okay, completely through. Now, you know, just to make sure that I got the plates. I don't know, this might be decided it isn't the plates. And sometimes it's deceptive. I mean, you look at this hard drive, how can you tell which side is the plates? Now, I know you can look at the other side and see there's a motor right there and all this other stuff. It doesn't matter. Who cares? It takes a minute to do it. You don't have to guess where the plates are. So. I'm doing this on a wood top workbench. I don't really care if that's what's in it. I place a lot of holes in it. So if you can see, maybe you can see right through there. See light? Right through there. It went right through. Same thing here. Went right through all the electronics. You see that? So this is completely inoperable. Um, I know that there was one political person that decided to destroy hard drives and sent people out with a hammer, and they just hammered away on the hard drives. And, uh, you know, that will prevent. But 
when you have knowing from being in government for many years working in uh, secure facilities and stuff like that when you decommission equipment this is unacceptable uh, for classified information you got to put it in a chipper there's a special thing that chips it also there's a, other devices that can go right in and degauss it degauss it means you can't write on it ever again this is not actually degaussed but it's destroyed no normal even a good hacker I don't think can get into that you really got to be an elite hacker to get information out of there FBI CIA yeah no one, FBI, CIA is not going to go into your hard drives. Um, so that's pretty much what I do. And I got all these hard drives to destroy that have been saved up. It's now hard drive destroying time. Some of them really look nice too. I don't know. There's nothing you can do with them. Um, there is another way. <clears throat> so you want to save your hard drive, but you want to donate this hard drive to someone else or um, repurpose that, that a computer to someone else in the office. So how do you do that? Well, there's software out there that will write over the hard drive and completely write over it. And I know there's a debate, oh, you got to write over it 10 times and stuff like that. I don't know what the debate is. I really don't. I'm under the belief that if you write, uh, uh, overwrite it once, that that's sufficient. Um, there's software out there that's free. It's called CCleaner. You get it, um, you get it from CNET or you just go online and find it. You got to make sure you're actually getting a good copy of it that someone else isn't repurposing CCleaner to, to put uh, viruses in there. So just get a clean copy of it. I use it all the time on all my computers. And so what it will do is um, it will uh, uh, do disk management for you. And um, you know a lot of people believe that once they've taken a document, let's say their financial statement, and they put it into the, into the uh, a trash can of a uh, of uh, let's say a Microsoft uh, Windows 10 product and they empty the trash can that it's gone forever. No, it's not. It's just the address to that document is gone. It's not the document. The document's still on the hard drive. Uh, if you want to get rid of that document, what you have to do is you have to first of all delete it and then empty the delete file and then you got to overwrite that file with another file. And that's where CCleaner comes in. It does a really good job. You got to look for that option uh, on it. So as you go into CCleaner and, and and you hit, you know, for it to to um, to erase what's on the hard drive, um, you know, it erases everything in the trash, all the other stuff out there, the cookies, all the nonsense stuff that you get when you search the internet. And I mean, that is just fantastic to clean up every day. So I just run it once a day. But the thing I do about once a month or so is I just, I don't know, I just want to clean up my hard drive because I'm paranoid. And I, uh, I'm a cybersecurity guy and I know how people break into systems. <laughs> I've seen it over and over again. I'm always amazed at the creativity of some people, the evil creativity of some people, how they do it. So every once in a while, I'd say once a month, I, I completely erase all my uh, uh, hard drive that's not uh, being used uh, you know, for uh, data that I've already stuck in the trash and I already emptied the trash and now I got open space, unused hard drive space that's just sitting out there waiting to be rewritten. So if you go into CCleaner, there's a little place you click on it that says overwrite um, yeah, you know, your disk. And it'll give you a warning, it'll say, you know, this is going to take a long time. So I got a small disk on one computer and, and it takes uh, six to ten hours uh, to overwrite all the unused space on the hard drive. Now, once it's overwritten, you know, once, uh, it, that's pretty secure. Um, you know, again, I've heard stories, oh, you got to do it seven times and nine times, six times, three times. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm under the belief, I agree with the people that say, once you've overwritten it once, you're fine. Um, at least for applications that, that we have in business and personal and all. So I do that once a month. Uh, I clean up my hard drive, and after I clean it up, then I overwrite all the open space. And then at that point... If the only thing I have left is my operating system, then at that point I can donate that hard drive or that, uh, that PC to somebody. But you know, even being as paranoid as I am, I still would not give anyone my old hard drives. I just buy a new hard drive. They're not that expensive. All the effort in this, it's not that expensive. Just remember when you have that, that PC, that laptop or whatever, and it's time to give it to someone else, you got, you got information there you may not even be aware of. Just put a new hard drive in it.
and, and reload the operating system and destroy the old hard drive. It's worth the patience. I mean, it's worth the, the, the you know, you can sleep better at night once you learn all these horror stories. Okay, now let's talk about cloud. You know, a lot of people are using the cloud. Cloud's a great place to put data. It's a great place to, to, to you know, to uh, put your software and things like that. I mean, it's just fantastic. It has a lot of advantages. And if you secure your side of the uh, the information that you send to the, uh, to, to the cloud, and if you have all the proper securities and all, it's, it's very secure. It's a very good, it's just a great idea, and you, and you should consider uh, using the cloud in your business. But uh, there's extra issues in the cloud when it comes to security and when it comes to data and data destruction. So let's now, let's talk about some of those issues that, that deal particularly with the cloud. Not about hard drives, not about uh, systems that you can physically touch, but those systems that you can't physically touch, which is the cloud. Uh, so we're going to talk about that. So what, what you should do is every time you put data up in the cloud, it should be encrypted, and, and you should use uh, AES-256 uh, uh, encryption. This is what uh, the federal government uses. This is what serious people use when they encrypt their data, and your data should be encrypted in the cloud. So let's say you're going to leave Amazon Web Services, which is a great service in the cloud, and you're going to go to Azure, which is Microsoft's uh, cloud application, or you're going to go to some other cloud application. Uh, so you know you're you're leaving, but you're leaving all that data there. So what you have to make sure is is that data is encrypted there, and then once you have a good copy at your other um, web uh, site, your other you know you're up and running and everything else, then what you do is you take the key that encrypted it in the original place. So in other words, you're going to re-encrypt it in, at, at the new service, or if you're bringing it back into your house, your, your facilities, you're going to re-encrypt it uh, there with a new uh, uh, security code, a new uh, pass you know, code. Uh, so you're going to take the old one that's been encrypted with that old pass code, then you're going to destroy that pass code. And that's called crypto shredding. And let me tell you, if it's AES uh, with a 256 key uh, and you destroy that, that uh, code, um, well, you, no one's going to be able to get in it. Uh, once you destroy the key, I'm sorry, not the code, the key. Once you destroy the key, no one's going to be able to decipher the data that you have left in that uh, uh, website. Uh, I'm sorry, in, that, in the cloud. Uh, so that's, that's what you need to do. Uh, but you need to remember that this data is valuable. So no matter where you use it, no matter where you have it, you got to make sure that when you're done with that data, that it is properly handled and it is properly uh, decommissioned. Uh, you just can't let it out there in public. And you may think it's not important. Of course, a lot of people don't even know what's on their hard drive anymore. Um, but it's important stuff that, that uh, other people can get a hold of, hackers can get a hold of. Uh, passwords, login accounts, um, uh, accounting uh, data, things like that. You just don't want anybody else to use. So if you're a big corporation and you're going to go to the cloud, remember everything you put in the cloud should be put there properly and it's your responsibility to handle your side of the security when you're dealing with the cloud. Uh, there's certain security precautions that you have to take uh, on your side uh, and they, they take care of the security on their side. Um, but one of the things you have to do is you have to have that strong encryption um, uh, up there so no one uh, can get into your system and see what your data is. So uh, again, this is Jim Gibson. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that when I see that. Make comments. I like comments. Even if you disagree with me, make a comment. At least I know that someone is interacting with the, uh, uh, the, uh, the videos. Also, uh, appreciate it if you would uh, subscribe and follow me. Uh, I do videos about once a month or so, or actually more often. I try to do them once a week, but get too busy sometimes. Uh, if you have topics that you'd like me to cover uh, concerning cabling, uh, concerning routers, switches, networks, how to design networks, um, uh, all those things, including cybersecurity, I love doing videos and all those things. I just need to hear from people to see what they would like. And, of course, if you need products, please go to my website. We have all the products there, and I try to keep them at wholesale prices. They're, they're quality, professional products that we use all the time. Uh, in our, in, you know, when we do cabling, when my cabling crew goes out, 
I only sell what we use. So again, uh, uh, thank you for watching my video and I'll see you on the next video. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com and today I'm gonna to show you how to cut a hole in the drywall. This is David, signing out. You stay classy, Internet.